What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to run off where we left off, we have been, or we are, fighting the new Spaniards and we've decided to go for an amphibious landing behind their lines and attack the city of Panama and really cut their territory in half. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I'm tempted, sorely tempted, when it comes to Louisiana so my idea was to originally do three world dominations or to, to do all my campaigns as world domination but I'm tempted to make my Louisiana campaign a long campaign um, because it's just gone really well and I think well I don't know I'll have a, I'll have a look at the uh, I'll have a look at the campaign map about whether or not I you know I'll have a think about it then but it has crossed my mind that it might be nice to start something fresh. So let's get all my infantry, all my elites, everyone. They can all form up. Plus grenadiers. They have mortars, so we have to go on the offensive, and that's fine. They've got a very small army, so we're going to end up engulfing them. Okay guys, had a bit of a funky error there. Um, for whatever reason, Bandicam decided to stop. If I minimised and left, um, it would fix itself. Okay, that's a new one to keep an eye on. Okay, so let's get cracking. So these men advance through this direction, these three... advance through the town these four push the left 30th join them run the 6th light horse around the flanks and let's just run our cavalry up we must might as well just run all my infantry up can be a bad idea running your infantry around, but most of the time I find it's actually pretty okay. So walk out the general. So I'm leaving my guns behind because they have no they have no function really. The battle is so mobile, their forces are so weak that they will be dead long before the. Uh, long before they can get into position and actually do something useful so we may as well just ignore them for all intents and purposes and just push up let's try and attack them to disrupt their positioning same with this unit here this is a bit suicidal Probably going to end up banging and charging my men. Kill some of these. Ah, I got some friendly fire going here. My cavalry may break. If they do, that's fine. Set these guys up here. Run my cavalry around. To be honest, just get them away. Just, just withdraw them. There's no point leaving them there, but I think I can actually turn. They're still wavering, even though they're withdrawing. Shake and steady. Stop the withdrawal. Hit the native warrior auxiliary. Let's 
charge my cavalry on. Oh no, these militia are going to gun down their own auxiliary. Good. Push up our line. Yeah, you also join them. Oh damn, that infantry routed quick against my Royal Escossais. You hit the militia, you hit the native bowmen. I want my men to have some shooting practice. So they're going to gun down. Killed their general. Hmm, they're not all firing. How odd. Oh, it's because they're firing into the combat. Just charge straight on. Bane a charge. We'll see who takes their glory from this field. Although, they're pretty much entirely routed. Yeah, there they go. May as well end it there. There's no sense. We don't really need the experience on our troops. They're already quite experienced as it is. There we go. Sack the city. We've taken it with 276 casualties. Prepare for war. So let's repair the palace. Reinforce the men. And let's... So you have no port. Puerto Bello is growing in a lot of turns. Um, let's upgrade the plantations in order to be ready to export. Once we've taken Bogota. Um, just one second, everyone. There we go. Just had to clear my throat. So. How goes the situation in Europe? Europe's pretty static. Um... Um, I don't know. It's tempting to potentially call it after I've to call it after I've taken the Americas. Really, how far are we from our objective? Ah, oh, no, we still need to capture fifty regions. We're fine for a while. We need to capture another twenty-three, and we own twenty-seven. So let's just keep on doing what we're doing. So hold. Getting some good text, national debt and so on. Just hit enter. Ah, uh, the British preacher comes back. Yeah, you can go into Cherokee lands. Ooh, the Austrians are... Ooh, they're getting quite a good fleet together. A really good fleet together. Interesting. So, hey, it's snowing outside. It's snowing quite a lot. Holy smokes. Compared to what the road looked like a minute ago, that's quite the snowstorm. Just one second, everyone. I, need to, I actually need to photograph that and send it to a friend. Sorry about that, everyone. I know that's terribly um, unprofessional, but, you know... <laughs> it looks it, the view outside my window looks great now if I wait to the end of the episode it might not look so great especially once cars have driven all over it and so on um, so we've been attacked by a Spanish Navy fleet which we don't want to fight so just escape good they actually went into a port which is a big deal an, an army has moved towards um, port, uh, towards Panama a, a full stack, or nearly a full stack, has moved in that direction. Okie dokie, so Otto Blander has been 
blockaded by a fairly weak fleet. We've not got a super fleet there either. Fleet arrives. Good, so you go, and I'm pretty sure that's occupied by an enemy. It is the Georgians. Okay, you guys go knock out the Georgians. Managed to take them without losing that much of our fleet, so let's just drop both our guys onto onto trade nodes. Got to get ready to fight the Brits, because eventually they will turn on us. Although that's quite a heavy fleet. Okay. Just keep dropping in the economic spending. So this army... I'm pretty sure I can do this. Although I don't know, I don't know if you can leave yet. You can. Good. Get aboard ship. Whoa. Frame rate drop. Um. Okay. Drop into Moose Factory, and then wait for the next phase to send them onwards. Crewman Port Texas, the Caribbean, Northwestern Atlantic has recruited another second rate ship of the line. And then, okay, after you've recruited those, I want to balance it. I want to have some firsts, a lot of seconds, and more thirds. That's the kind of fleet I want. It's not necessarily the best, but... Okay, let's take you guys out. You guys in. Repair the governor's residence. Combine these fellas. Keep Basile Belmont on the way to Santa Fe. So here's the guy that's moving back towards Panama, but I don't think he's going to be much of a problem. Whereas this fellow wants to keep marching towards Bogota. Apart from that... I don't know, maybe I want to build another army? Ready to fight the Cherokee. More orders? Anything more? So let's get some cuirassier, let's get some light cavalry. Full artillery. Probably go heavier on the howitzers. And let's get some marines to start to build up another another na another army. Of course, Theodore is replenishing. And when he gets to Santiago, we're going to deposit him over to Santo Domingo and see if we can get him make a peace with Spain. Trait gained Roland Joseph, brave sailor. That he is. Okay, so what good, what's the best trade? Commodity. We're getting loads of ivory. I'd love some spices, but I'm not getting any. Tobacco is the best produce. We've got a few tobacco plantations, which we're getting. We're increasing production, and they're both abundant yields. You are getting better roads. We're upgrading the ports. I mean, you're a shipyard. You get metal roads. You're getting metal roads. Let's upgrade the spice plantation to get more production. Let's probably build a sloop in Cayenne. Okay, just really try to get our all cylinders firing in the export market. So just keep upgrading roads. Okay, I think that's all you want to do for now. No more immediate tech demands. So let's hit enter. No, things are going pretty well. I could probably do that fleet in the Caribbean churning out, well that dockyard in the Caribbean churning out more ships. Could probably get away with building a bunch of fourths, and then during the next upgrade get seconds and thirds. Instead of waiting for firsts. 
Just have a slightly lower tier fleet. Which could be useful if certain enemies arise. I mean, I've posed the question about whether or not I make this a short campaign. I'm still tempted to do a world domination just because I've only ever done... I mean, in my channel's history, I've only ever done one. And it's the United States. I've never actually done a proper... I don't really do world dominations and I find it fun. I know it can, it can, it can be boring with late game spam and so on. But usually the AI creates enough of an enemy that it's worth doing. Like probably what I would do is you know, once I take America, go invade India and start converting the population to Catholicism. Tenanted farms, let's upgrade. Upgrade these buildings. Okay, dockyard, dockyard, dockyard. Yeah, you can get fourths and fifths. So let's recruit some fourths and on some fifths to make some kind of medium tier fleets to send out to the to send out to the trade zones. I need to move my phone; it's buzzing and it's putting me off. <laughs> Okie dokie. Trade raided Sorantis Mantuski, which I'm not bothered about really. That one's a bit more annoying. But to be honest, I need more fleets. Because I want I want to always maintain a trade. I mean I've not thought I got about this guy. I want to always maintain a presence in the trade theatre, so in the Ivory Coast. Straight to Madagascar, sorry. I always want to have a full fleet. But I don't have enough fleets to pull this guy back and repair him and get him back into the line. Like, that just doesn't exist for now. Yeah, you keep on marching. So your light cavalry's been recruited. Your artillery's bunch of it's been recruited. Is it here? Yeah, there's some, well, there's some of it. Pick up another unit of marines, pick up some infantry mercenaries, pick up... Well, actually, it's down here that I can start to pick up, I can start to recruit, or eventually start to recruit uh, Grenadier Guards and so on, can't I? Or have I not got... Well, I don't have the new tech. Realistically. Yeah, pick up two more units of American mercenaries. Let's upgrade the government building in Texas to be a governor's mansion because there's no, not really any need to do anything else. Now, I'm Panama's waiting to see what this guy does before moving, but it doesn't look like he wants to move. So let's keep marching to New Granada. You can get aboard Santiago de Cuba. Deposit. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> didn't embark my army. I haven't had a recording and audio snafu for a while. And I've changed. I've tried to fix it. Okie dokie. So, so if Mr. Minibo is on, on course ready to attack Santo Domingo. What navy do they have here? Oh. From back here, it looked like it was a Spanish fleet. Instead, it is mine. Then, what about the Inuit nations? Do they have any strong allies? Protector of Dagestan. Do I want? Do I care about Dagestan? Oh, they're allied with Russia and Persia. Damn. Maybe don't worry about them. Then let's send. God, the campaign map really hates moving around when you're in this view. Let's move them around to Louisburg, which I'll upgrade to a dry dock. And 
And Vidge is still up and growing in Cayuga, so I can't build the college. How's Baton Rouge doing? 16 turns. Probably because they keep recruiting stuff. Okie dokie. One more turn till we get the next level. Military buildings. So let's let the game tick on. We do want to attack the Cherokee, absolutely. Because we do want their territories. But that will upset an awful lot of people because uh, they've been our allies. They've been staunch allies for a long time. And it can really... I don't know, sometimes betraying your AI, your ally, can really tick the AI, AI off, maybe because they're a machine. Oh, there's, there's going to be some accidents and slips today. See, I've not seen proper snow for a long time. Because it never really proper snows. And even then, this, this would be proper snow if it went, went on for all day. But I suspect in the UK what usually happens is it does it for about an hour or so. And then that's it. Yes, we do want to capture the Cherokee regions and convert them to the true faith. The new model bayonet drill. Uh, you may as well keep going down the reorganised procurement. Well, that doesn't change our situation one bit because we already had access to this building. Okay, so you march on to Granada. See if I can demand their surrender. <laughs> I can demand their surrender. Then you just take out that lone unit. Immediately. Yes. Okay, this is time where this force might march out of Panama and go to engage Juan, Di Han Juan Diaz unless, they, unless he runs around us. In which case, don't upgrade these sugar plantations. Upgrade the farm. See, so Bogota is a very, very valuable nation. Because you have access to one, two, three mines, two towns, two ports. And that's a lot of economic production right there. Let's upgrade the coffee warehouse. Because we're taking this, we can actually export that coffee and that sugar. So we may want to send a galloper north to go clear out the port. Yes. You hold here. You can't reach Juan Diaz. But you can reach Santa Fe. Let's take him out. Let us wipe out this Spanish territory and bring it into, bring it into the greater Louisiana Empire. I think that'd be a rather good thing to do. Set up an almighty gun line. Set up some infantry to advance forward. Combined with howitzers, cavalry on each flank. Push my howitzers up. So it's over here where the concern lies. We have a bunch of native units coming in. And native units, well I'm not so bothered because I've got you know advanced firing drills and all that lovely stuff. Okay, this flank. Push down more aggressively. My gun line is doing a lot of, if nothing else, morale damage. So run my infantry up. I 
to try pin their infantry down into place and also to get some shots off against their uh, mortars. Then I can pivot this artillery line to about here to face the reinforcing stack. Here they all come. Keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. You may want to try and intercept this general's bodyguard. There we go. Now we can engage their infantry with our infantry. Nope, you don't engage the general's bodyguard. Not if he's going to walk in front of our infantry line. <laughs> you didn't know what you were getting yourself into. So everyone to engage the reinforcing infantry coming in. So what we want to do is push the right, push these guys uh, left, but you destroy the 12th regiment so we can form a new line. Okay, let's deploy my cavalry in. them up. So let's pivot these two units to go intercept the reinforcing army. Good, I could do that now with all of my troops. Here we come. Let's get my general's bodyguard into the mix to get some good kills. Let's see, what we've got so much artillery fire coming their way. Okay, form a more traditional line. Maybe not get the general involved, just keep the general closer at hand. Hit the native bowman, ignore that cloud of smoke whole bunch of artillery coming in. Get my general on this flank ready to charge this native bowman. Push up aggressively. Charge my general into the bows. Come on, how much close do we have to be to spot them? There we go, now they're exposed. Focus, 
fire all our artillery into the centre. No. Charge in and help him out. Do you see what they're doing? I knew my... Yeah, I thought he was going to die. Not that I'm bothered, because he's a bit of a... Well, he's a bit of a nobody. We can create new legends. Folks, fire all the artillery on this militia. Howitzers can just... There's more hidden native bows. Charge right up to him. There we go. Hey, they actually killed one of my regiments. Or got one onto route. Oh, they're being shot on the flank. Good lads, the 63rd reformed. Come on everyone, engage. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, oh god, friendly fire. More friendly fire. So man, so much artillery coming in. <laughs> Let's just end it there before we kill more of our own men. Holy hell. There we go. So sadly we lost our general, but it doesn't matter. A, because I don't really care about him. And now we've got a new general. need to be ready to go kill Mr. Ortiz yes. properly. So let's bring our cavalry up to reinforce. Have we quelled the rebellion sufficiently Five now? Down to minus six. But if I put you in, zero. Good stuff. So you can push towards Mexico. Let's get some intel on what's going on. A couple of armies. An army with a fairly good general. Let's raid the port and raid the port again. You can't reach, you can't reach. I'm pretty sure we've done everything. Ah, we have not. Whole bunch of upgrades in Cuba. You, my friend, are going to be a economic powerhouse and they can't export them all because the port's not up to not up to it no one else can everyone else needs power looms and steam engines okay may just start sprinting down the uh, industry track a whole bunch of research down the navy's growing let's hit end turn As my spies continue to infiltrate Cherokee territory. And my army, another army grows in the south. Uh, see, trade would be valuable to me, but... What if I just do trade? I'm not going to give you anything. Well, there we go. I was never ever going to give them anything for trade, but if they wanted to trade, then by all means. Mm, the Austrian navy. Don't worry, our own naval forces are growing every day. But right now, we've, we're just rolling up the Americas. We are the dominant power, no one can stop us. 
and I don't think anyone can easily influence in our affairs from a distance either. Because our navy's good, we've got a large amount of armies. Yeah, I'd be concerned for you, New Spain. You're going to run out of territory. Aha! Okay, let's call in... Good, this has spiced things up a bit. Let's call in all our allies. Ooh, they all dropped us. Well, we shall remember that. Of course, we knew it was a matter of time before uh, they did something like that. But there we go. We have our next target. Port blockaded Grand Bahama. Port blockaded Tadusuk. Okay, you are going to get destroyed by that fleet. Let's just check to make sure nothing's changed in the trade zones. Or well, in the trade zones that we currently have. There's a Mughal trade node trade ship there. No visibility here. Wait, why do we have visibility in the Ivory Coast? Oh, because we're trading through it. That's why. Well... Good job, we're recruiting more men. Build a sloop to hold the port here. Oh, see, they've chosen the wrong time to attack us. So we may temporarily lose Cayuga, which will be annoying, but... It'll be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. There you go, Alphonse Barre. You march down to intercept Sikadar Hansan. Trade agreement with the Mughals has been cancelled, so do we have any new options? Venice? You, sir, will rue this day. What about just France? Oh, well. Okay, let's upgrade this. So you need to clear out southern... We need to clear out uh, Colombia, really. But let's upgrade our sugar warehouses. We've drawn some of their armies away from protecting their capital. Let's pick up this plantation. You are still replenishing, so you can wait to pick up the Curacier. But first, because they're blockading Quebec, let's take this navy, which is not yet fully at full strength. Um, I'm going to... Well, I don't know what, what I'm going to do quite with this fight yet. I mean, I'm just going to water that. We, we lost nothing. Aha, they can, they've retreated down further into the to the river where we will chase them down and upgrade this weaver's cottage no don't need a fifth rate good let's get back to Plymouth for repairs and then we can deploy this fleet actually somewhere else and build up another one good news Michel Belmont Confident Admiral, three bottle man, sailor from birth, head for figures. Good stuff. So he's a good, a good guy to have in charge of my... of a large fleet. Um, but we do want to pick up... Well, first of all, I just want to quickly check. You guys get into position. So I do want to take Trinidad. I need to be ready. To be honest, I may take this navy out and blockade their dock. Uh, let's not upgrade this guy to a steam to a naval hospital yet. March Theodore on to Santo Domingo. See if we can demand their surrender. Nope. Maintain siege for now because we've got battles all over the place to fight. So let's take 
Philip Buff and hit Juan Diaz. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the, for an attack on even more new Spanish troops. Cheers, everyone.